Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we're looking at some new products to the UK which are supplied through EVM UK who are now the authorised dealers for Anadolu Azuzu. So we have the Grand Toro and the larger Visigo. First vehicle we're looking at is the Grand Toro. So this is a small of the two options. You can see the Visigo over there. This vehicle has seating options of 33, 35 or 37. Features Segi seating. Now seat back tables magazine nets, convection heating and USB ports to every seat. There's a decent amount of legroom on both sides of the vehicle. Plenty of headroom. The cab area has plenty of space. You have an Isri driver's seat fitted. And the other benefit of this vehicle as well is its flat floor throughout. So there's no sunken gangway. The passengers simply step onto the vehicle and it's easy to get to their seats. Large double glazed windows. Carpeted gangway. Passenger service unit. Allison T3270R XFE gearbox is fitted to this vehicle with the XFE standing for extra fuel economy. It features neutral at stop and at coast, uh, acceleration rate management, and Dyna Active shift technology. You also have the option to take the gears through manually by using the arrows. The actual specification in the driver's cab is very good so as well as having plenty of room the driver has a Bosch CDM 08 GSM microphone fitted to the ISRI seat. In the cab area itself you have soft touch buttons so you've got your interior lighting down here, external lighting, heated windscreen, TV, door control, the plug door. The Mister unit and aircon for the driver, which is very powerful. video taco head and then your air conditioning which is Safcar is down here driver also benefits from a USB port the dash pinnacle itself is very clear took this vehicle out on a test drive and the speedo is very good in terms of visibility. The rev counter on the right hand side there and then your driver aid is showing the green light there and that is controlled from this box down here. CCTV monitor is fitted which observes the rear emergency door 
and there's two cameras in the saloon. When you select reverse gear, the rear reversing camera shows up on the dash pinnacle. We also have a TV screen fitted which is HIK Vision. The control unit for that is just there. In terms of interior lighting, it's all LED. So you have the long white LED bars fitted to the overhead lockers with blue accents on the holders. And then the passenger service units also have blue LED. Curtains are fitted. Also have a star call fridge unit. So this vehicle is going to be priced competitively in comparison to some van conversion minibuses. So for similar sort of money, the passengers get more space, there's more luggage space. And as you can see from the seating capacity on this vehicle, this one is 33 seated. We also have a crew seat. As you can hear, a Cummins 4.5 litre engine is fitted to this vehicle. Now this vehicle is classed as front engine, but the engine is set back slightly. So it's much quieter at the front and you can achieve a decent entrance for passengers without having to climb over to, or to the side of the engine. So technically the engine is sitting between the front axles there and slightly to the back. Have a look underneath the vehicle. It's also worth bearing in mind that this is a pre-production vehicle and was the first right-hand drive example in the UK. So further tweaks will be made to the vehicle. Grand Toro does feature the new face of Izuzu. As you can see, you've got LED lighting. And the narrow dimensions of this vehicle make it ideal for places such as the Shetlands or remote areas in Scotland or Wales. Or even Yorkshire Dales where you need a, a narrow vehicle. There is uh, a bracket there for a tow bar to be fitted. Cantilever boot lid. So there's plenty of luggage space in the rear of the vehicle. Also got the spare tyre in there. Moving around to the near side. Also got another cantilever locker there. Further access.
obviously then have two further lockers on the near side. So as you can see, you have additional luggage space just underneath the floor level. Sticking say in 460kg in this area. Tires are Michelin 24570R. 17.5 So moving around to the offside Got add blue filler is there Some fuel tank and filler is here Side emergency exit. That's a nice set of steps so if people can get out safely in an emergency. LED lights into the rear. key out of the ignition you're also able to close the entry door remotely a handy feature for the driver.
in conclusion, for the money, for what you get compared to a van derive minibus, I certainly think it's a good offering from EVM UK. And if you are already operating a van derive minibus, it won't take up that much more room in the yard.